In this episode, I'm talking about the essential graphics panel in Premiere Pro and how you can import and edit MOGRT files right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you can either access the essential graphics panel by going to graphics and doing so is going to show the essential graphics panel up on the right or alternatively if you go back to the setting that you're in before you can access the essential graphics panel by going to window and then turning on essential graphics. But before we carry on I just want to quickly ask the question what is the essential graphics panel? Essentially, the Essential Graphics panel is just a way of adding in titles and title animations. So as you can see, you've got some default ones imported here that Premiere Pro have kindly included into the Essential Graphics panel. So let's start with this one here. So you've got bold image caption. So we'll double click that and then we'll just drag that into our project. So that is on title two. This Adobe font warning says unable to connect to Adobe missing fonts cannot be resolved at this time, which is fine. That's just because I'm not connected to the internet. So it would just give me a different font. So I'm just going to turn off this video for now. And as you can see, we've got this really cool text animation popping up from the bottom and then it should pop away at the end. There you go. Like so. So it pops in, holds for a second and then pops out. So if you wanted to edit this, if you wanted to change what is said here, so rather than being image caption here, you can double click on this and then that will load up the essential graphics edit. But if that doesn't come up, you can just select edit. So you've got shape image caption here, shape. So let's select image caption here. Got all of these different settings so we can change the position of everything. We can move the position, reduce the opacity and everything. And then we can also change the font of this. But if you select everything, delete that, you can go ahead and you can type in your own text like so. But you, of course, you've also got your fonts, you've got your colors, you've got everything down here, but let's get rid of this one. We'll go back to the Essential Graphics Browse tab and have a look, see what else they've got to offer in Premiere. So you've got these really cool logos and text animation. This one looks really cool. This looks like a movie trailer. So let's just zoom in. We'll go maximum frame. As you can see, we've got this company present in association with partner company. And of course, you can go ahead and animate all of this and change the font and change what is being said here. We'll delete that. We'll go back to browse. We can keep scrolling down. And there are some really good presets imported in here. There's some really good motion graphic templates in the essential graphics panel. And again, the great thing is with all of these lower thirds is you just go into edit and you can change the fonts. You can change the speed of the animation, the direction angle, you can change the colors and everything. So that's really handy. But what do you do if you want to import and edit your own specific MOGRT files that you downloaded from the internet? Well, if I go into my finder, you can see I've got the AE Juice titles pack. And if I go into each one of these folders, you can see these are MOGRT files. So there's two ways of importing these. You can select the specific MOGRT file that you want, or you can select a bunch of them and just drag them into the essential graphics panel like so. And as you can see, that is going to import that into Premiere. But if that's not working for you, though, then you can always just go into the bottom right onto the install motion graphics template button. And then you can go ahead and navigate to the motion graphic title that you want to edit. But I'm going to go for the drag and drop option just for the sake of this tutorial. Let's go for description. So let's go descriptions 01 flat. We'll drag that one in. So we'll drag that into Adobe Premiere. And that is descriptions 01 flat. So you just want to scroll through to find that specific MOGRT. There you go, descriptions 01 flat. So we'll just drag that into Premiere. And if we play this back, you can see we've got this really cool description animating in. And we didn't have to do anything to create that. Of course, though, you can always edit these the same way as you would edit the Adobe ones. So we'll select it, go into edit, and you can change what this says. So let's go. This is a Premiere Pro tutorial. So that looks really awesome. We've adjusted the title. Of course, you can change the font if you wanted to change the font. You can also change the size of this. You can make this bold, italic, and you can just all of these other settings. But moving down, we've got the color. 
So text 01 color, we can change the color of this by selecting this window and changing that like so. And you can do the same thing with this option here as well. So you can select the text two, change this to a different color. And of course, you can always move the position of this over if you like. So these are the global text controls. And then moving down, you can also see we've got in animation, start time, in animation, end time, out and in. So at the moment, that's very quick coming in. So we'll animate that to be slower. Let's play that back. And as you can see, I added that too fast. So I'm just going to pull the start time back into two. So it takes two seconds to animate in. There you go. It starts to animate in somewhere around here. And then the end time is 18 seconds. So it's taking between two and 18 seconds. There's 16 seconds to animate. So we'll pull this down so that it only takes four. So it starts at two, finishes at six. There you go, it should start animating in and there it comes. But there you go, you've got all of these other different settings. And of course, every time you add in another MOGRT file, all you have to do is just drag it in. So box titles 01 flat. You just scroll to that specific one. Let's go for brushes. And there you go, it is there. But essentially, every time you import an MOGRT or a motion graphics file into Premiere, you can drag it in or you can use the import button in the bottom right. It's completely up to you. Now, of course, it's not just lower thirds and text animation that you can edit using the essential graphics panel. You can also import AE Juice's kinetic typography posters, for example, and edit those using the essential graphics panel. Let me show you how. So once you're inside of Premiere, you first just want to begin by finding the AE Juice Pack Manager. So we'll go to Window, Extensions, AE Juice Pack Manager 3. And that should load up in its own window like so. Of course, if you wanted to snap this into Premiere, then you would just drag this and snap that to where you want that to go. So now that we're inside of Pack Manager, if we go into the Kinetic Typography window, for example, you can see we've got all of these really awesome kinetic typography presets that have been made and supplied by AE Juice. So let's use kinetic typography poster seven. So we'll select that, press import. Premiere is going to take a second to import that into the sequence. So it might say media offline for a second, but that's completely fine. So now that we've got this kinetic typography preset imported into Premiere, if we select that layer, go into essential graphics on the right, you can see we can actually change the text over here. So I'm going to change this to AE juice. We can change the font to anything that we fancy. So let's go for Arial black. We can change the size of this by using this slider here. And of course we can change the color as well. But then we can go down and we can affect the second text. So let's go for kinetic typography and MOGRT. And then of course we can always work through, we can change the font, we can change the size of this, we can make this small, we can make this bold, it's completely up to you. And then moving down, we've got text color two, so we can change the color of the text again. And then we've got text one tracking, text one scale width, scale height, position X, position Y, and then we've got text two tracking, scale width, scale height. And then of course we've got background on off, shadow on off, and then shine opacity. So using the AE Juice Pack Manager, we can import this really awesome typography preset and then edit that in the essential graphics panel like we would do with any other MOGRT file inside of Premiere. But there you go. That is the essential graphics panel and that is how you create awesome titles. And this is also how you can import your own MOGRT or title files into Adobe Premiere Pro. In the next video, we're talking all about titles and how you can create dynamic looking titles inside of Adobe Premiere Pro.